As an Algorand investor, I've signed up to get emails uh, basically from their team. And recently I got one that I wanted to share with you all. And I do this, by the way, whenever I can. Anytime I'm invested in a company, whether it be crypto or stocks, I'm always trying to sign up for the newsletter, make sure I'm getting all of the information, right? Because if I'm invested in something, I want to know what's going on all the time. So I recently got this email uh, because I signed up for the Algorand uh, it's it's just a, it's contact at algorand.foundation. And this is the latest transparency report and a message from the CFO. One of the reasons why I love Algorand is because how transparent they are and obviously their technology, who they have at the helm, working for them, uh, what they've already accomplished, some of the partnerships they have in the industry. Again, their tech is phenomenal. They have some of the best people in our industry in blockchain working with them. Uh, so I wanted to share this recent update with you as Algorand investors, and maybe you're not even an Algorand investor, but you may, you know, at some point be, and maybe this, you know, can, can help you in your research uh, at some point. So appreciate you guys as always for stopping back. So I'm going to kind of sift through this message because this is talking about their CFO. Okay. So their CFO, which uh, his name is right here, uh, Herpi, Herpal Singh. And her Paul is coming from PricewaterhouseCoopers. Worked for the past 10 plus years in traditional finance, particularly in the asset management sector. And I love learning about the people behind these great foundations and these great companies, right? It says, my objectives as the first incoming CFO of the Algorand Foundation are to enhance our financial oversight and governance to ensure that we have the treasury to execute on our planned strategies and to support the ecosystem. I'm pleased to report that starting with this edition, the foundation's transparency reports will now be coordinated by and produced out of my office rather than the office of chief economist, as was done before I arrived. Let me just say this. The fact that Algorand is doing this transpar transparency reports, I can see this becoming a norm for the great crypto companies that somehow it still exists, right? Because let's face it, many of the crypto companies out there today will either A, go away, or B, will be bought out, and it'll be consolidated into another company. But I think the great ones that will stand on their own two legs in the end, 10 years down the line, are companies like Algorand. I could see Algorand being one of those top companies still there because I'm looking at who they're hiring. I'm looking at who's already there, the tech that's being built, how they're operating, right? Now, it says, as such... They will now cover the financial operations of the foundations as a whole and give much greater line-by-line -line insight into our resource allocation over the applicable time frame. Importantly, the new format will be, quote, whole foundation, an actual uh, expenditure base rather than a mix of backward and forward-looking. Full, uh, looking, forward looking. This reformatted transparency report should give the community a much cleaner view of the foundation activities now and going forward with wider scope, consistent format, loans and loan repayments, disclosure of algo sales, key activity indicators, increased frequency and consistent format. So you can see here, this is what it looks like. This is from October 1, 2022 to March 31, 2023. You got a message from their CFO here. You can scroll on down. This is very well done, right? Foundation Holdings and Reconciliation. I've already skimmed this, by the way. You can check out their balance sheets, okay? This is what you want to be looking at when you're invested in a company. You want to see how things are being done, what's coming, right? Where the company stands right now, how it's progressed over the last few months, few years, right? You can learn all of this information from a company who puts out this type of content, right? So this transparency report, I think, is very, very crucial. And I think it's going to be something that many cryptocurrency companies end up doing from here on out, right? I think it's going to be a norm. When we get regulation set in place, when we get all the big money coming into crypto, they're going to be looking for companies like Algorand to invest in. I personally believe that. And I think Cardano is in that same vein. you know. And there's some other great layer ones and great top projects that can very easily start implementing these sort of things, right? Can very easily start to do uh, some of these extra things that help investors, you know, see what's happening and uh, give them a little glimpse at behind the curtain. So appreciate you guys as always for stopping back here by the channel. And uh, they got their TVL here. This is pretty cool too. The TVL breakdown by projects. I love this number of open wallets. You could see where, how, how it's progressed there. It's in the millions 
So it's un- it's unbelievable here just what they've been able to do. And, and it's not that hard, right? But um, let me know what you guys think about this down below. I love it. Uh, it makes me even feel stronger about holding Algorand right now throughout this bear market. These transparent uh, transparency reports, I think, are a great idea. Appreciate you guys as always. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.